Han clap to the master guys with every back again for another one on this other one on the Mr. Lix. <laughs> another one on this Mr. Lix reacts channel right there and then. I know that one reached them neighbors. They heard another one, brothers and sisters, that echo across the world, man. Big up yourself, my people, for tuning in to yet another reaction video. Of course, the Mr. Lix family. Round of applause goes out to you guys. And of course, the newcomers are there. Big up yourself for tuning in to this year reaction video. If you're not done so, guys, definitely do download the app. Of course, the Mystelix Tuba app on the Play Store, the Google Play Store, or the first comment in the comment box below the link. You can definitely get that. Or definitely give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification. Pretty much, you can do this, both or all of them right there. Thumbs up. Download the app on your Android, Android devices. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there, guys. Of course, like I was stated before, this reason for giving the thumbs up will pretty much cause the videos to be pushed further and further. So definitely give this video a thumbs up right now in this regard right there now guys this is going to be an interesting reaction because we're going to be revealing a number of things that it can be quite controversial in terms of what we know and um the things that can be revealed from what we see right there however guys we must start with this thing very um this thing missing person right there of course i mentioned a reward i think that was sent out by crazy t a thousand dollars if they find the individual now guys i'm not sure if this thing is actually you know legit or not this is why i react to this stuff you guys can leave that in the comment, bo comment box below but there's a contact number right there in this regard so if there's any information in this in this regard you can definitely call this number and of course there's a, a reward going out for eleven thousand dollars i don't know if this is us yen ec dollars i don't know but brothers and sisters we got revealing something rather interesting here today now i saw this thing right there this is not the full video but this was a rather interesting one right there considering the whole dogs escaping not escaping but the dogs not being being able to take the scent and what have you brothers and sisters take a listen to this that was there all the burning down all the burning the house i was there all the evidence and everything so what dog finish <laughs> so he dropped this whole thing right there let me see oh this is the, okay let's go back to this one let's start let's start with this one first how many people pee pee down there so you see in the location where the dogs could have taken the scent apparently the dogs have you know could not be able to take a scent because people just you know <laughs> pissing all over the place brothers and sisters so you can uh, relief of their systems brothers and sisters anyways let's continue how many people pee pee down there who are the malkaka <laughs> they malkaka they malkaka they do all the thing down there all right they don't pass it through the crowd they don't pass it through the crowd they don't see whoever balls there <laughs> But me start us strictly out in the boy. I don't think that's how it works, eh, bro. That's that's definitely not how it works right there. But hey, for the sake of kicks. Dog smell the balls there. Yeah? The dog smell the balls there. Yeah? By the time that dog reached there, that dog doing that. That dog doing that. That dog doing that. That dog doing that. That dog confused. Dog's doing that. The person could be right there. The dog cannot smell them because the dog smell all kind of balls. <laughs> but me start us strictly out in the boy. That was the. That was there, all the burning down. All the burning down the house, I was there, all the evidence and everything. Yeah, I don't think they should have done that. But it seems like it might have been a willful thing. Maybe they knew, hey guys, the possibility of them bringing dogs in. You know, let us do this. Maybe it was... That's why I always believe in my heart of hearts, brothers and sisters. That this guy is getting help. And for all the video, yourself is going to think of that same question. Or think of that same um statement right there. That he's getting help. You know, he's getting help somewhere, somehow. But let's continue. So, what? Dog finish. SSU. Right in Rosso. Right there, Rosso there. Rosso there. SSU all over Rosso. To protect Scary and his family. Dog all over there is um, SSU. And I heard that they had actually had the party still. Uh, on the other hand, they stated that they stated that they couldn't have cancelled the party as a result of the different people that were coming and monies were paid already and what have you. I kind of understand that sentiment, but at least push it back to another date now. Nah? Well, then again, if people were coming in to do on whose money is the he did the party on in first place did scared use his own money to do this or he used the country's money to do this the party that he had i don't mind you have his party you know you having your private parties your birthday and whatnot boom bang well you should be paying your own money for your own thing the country shouldn't be paying that for you but they still had party brothers and sisters anyways let's continue Ten thousand SSU. What? 100 SSU, 100 SSU, they spell all the SSU balls and the old PP says stinking PP and the dog down there. The dog down there. The dog confused. Look at the girl there, look at her. Boy, I tell you, boy. Anyways, guys, there's something rather interesting that um was sent to me a number of times. 
and um i have to bring it to you guys as well you know i roll already brothers and sisters dominica breaking news this was probably like two or three days ago and of course they're talking about the missing child's mama the little girl's mama right there she apparently went missing in 2012 brothers and sisters and at the time of her disappearance Catherine casey Alex alexis lived with her mother at stock farm of course we will see her mother in her in a while brothers and sisters we have the mother there <laughs> let me stop this thing from moving okay we have the mother's gonna talk later on the mother of this girl not in other words the grandmother of kenisha right there she was a mother of two children kenisha um kendra etienne uh being one of them and um uh, yeah she was one of she was the mother of two children kenisha kendra etienne being one of them she could have been described as fat dark in complexion <laughs> it was not right that interesting okay? fat dark in complexion about five feet tall with a uh, black short hair and a clear patch on the left side of her forehead at about 5 p.m on fourth on the 4th of april 2020, 2012 catherine left her home and went to town she contacted the family and told them she was in town white with a white man a white man brothers and sisters and would be coming home soon that was the last time anyone had contact with the mother of the missing child kenisha right there let's not make history repeat itself let's find this young girl and bring her home safely so apparently the mother went missing this is the mother right there brothers and sisters this is the mama right there so it seems like it's a repeat situation that is happening there or is it really repeated because i from my understanding i heard that the biological mama was was what she passed away I, that's what i heard and as a result of she going going um went missing but apparently a number of persons are now speculating that she might be alive they don't know if that is the case i myself don't know if that is the case or whatnot but they're saying that she might be alive and there's a reason for it i know a number of persons were trying to speculate what would be the cause of this guy taking the little youth right there what would be the cause of him going and just go to some elderly people home war taking care of her and well not there elderly you can consider them elderly young elderly people and what would be the, the the motive behind it right there and it seems some sort of weird connections in this regard so let us continue right here so apparently this girl was checking the what we know as the madman the madman that you seen right there who apparently took adopted adopted abducted the little one from the elderly folks home now they were checking brothers and sisters this is not not any 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 crazy thing right there even somebody saying if you're really faking your your passing then hmm, that is an interesting one right there but apparently she was with this guy right there she was with the madman right there brothers and sisters she was with the madman brothers and sisters anyways apparently we have been hearing that this individual is the father this is an individual that i know this is one of the reasons i always tell in fellas if a woman come and bring child and say that is your child you should do a dna test so when i was listening to the grandmother which of course we'll be talking about that in a moment the grandmother of this girl she was she was asked who was the father and she said god almighty is the father she apparently don't we don't know but on the basis of this thing right there we're gonna see if, if we can compare and contrast between the fathers of this girl or the, whoever is the supposed father right there now guys as i'm looking at this i'm seeing the nostrils and the nostrils don't look the same however the forehead definitely does look the same kind of similar it, although hers is a bit bigger and he's more his his own is more curved while hers is more spread out and a little thing like this the lips are not the same the chin she looks like she has the same chin as this guy right there the cheeks definitely not the same right there guys so in comparing and contrast let's see if we can then see so she may most likely took parts of the mother in this regard the nose is flared up they don't have the same nose at all so you'd say okay maybe the nose although the nose doesn't look like hers either but you see you see there are three different types of noses there brothers and sisters three dips, different types of nose now the lips don't look the same which lips do you think she has she doesn't have the lips of none of them either so from my understanding this this is interesting right there maybe she took somebody grandmother some 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 forefathers peep some foremothers or whatever you want to call it somebody else's dna right there brothers and sisters so 
it is vital that we see in this different thing compare and contrast so she she may have the mother's forehead it looks like she has the mother's forehead um but yes that's that's pretty much what i can conclude right there no no the nose is different the cheeks she, the cheeks um she um there's a slight resemblance to the cheeks right there rather than these cheeks right there so the nose the lips don't look the same the forehead might be the same and um thing anyways guys this is the the other guy the the, the one who took the girl right there and of course as written right there there's a lot more to that story hence the mother let me make it bigger we will compare and contrast them soon brothers and sisters there's a lot more to that story hence the mother reaction hence why he reacted so that the adopted pops who apparently he he, he messed up that resemblance too strong kanisha i know you're alive i i we definitely believe that she's alive and well today and of course this is one of the reasons why we say there's somebody helping him right there she's not don't believe she's she's passed away no brothers and sisters she's definitely not gone at all anyways that, that the family and adopted parents need to speak out how you got to adopt the child and so forth and so forth and i also believe that he should also do a some sort of dna test take her clothes or something whatever she had wearing probably one of the dirty clothes and do a dna test to find out if he's really the father or not because a number of persons are saying he is in fact the father right there now in comparison let me turn this to the side and make it bigger in comparison to them brothers and sisters they have the same bottom lip as you can see the teeth look similar they don't have the same upper lip so it's different the nose however looks quite familiar right there brothers and sisters remember we were watching the nose of this guy it's smaller hers is a bit smaller hers is a bit more flared up and of course his nose is a bit flared up so, so as well um is hers the cheeks are very they're very similar you can see the line there you can see the line there the cheeks there the cheek there and you've seen a number of interesting stuff you see i don't know if they lack sleep or what not but it looking like they have a line under their eyes as well the eyes look the same the forehead looks a bit similar she i think she took more of a mother's top of her head right there but the forehead tends to look the same so the big question here is who is really the father who is really the father brothers and sisters in comparison to this guy to this guy who do you think they look like more who do you think they look like more when i saw this i myself was like he he looks a bit more like her rather than him looking like her but then again sometimes i meet people that look like certain people and they're not related there's one of the people i know they look like twins and they said that they did they did a dna test and they're not related at all so sometimes who knows this is a kind of a strange kind of vibes that is taking place genetics passed down and they mutate and so forth and so forth and then they passed down in a different thing different genes but they're looking at ah, i don't know brothers and sisters but this is rather interesting right there it seems like there's more to the story that we know some individuals have been stating this thing to me as well who exactly is the parent the father of this one so brothers and sisters who do you think looks more alike like the father does he look he has different certain features that they look like the chin but he might have the same chin too i think their chin their chin looks more like his own looks a bit shorter but i can't see with the hand right there but you know, it's it's interesting brothers and sisters maybe these individuals themselves are related somehow <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but apparently this is the woman who um thing guy, fellas this is one of the reasons why i always tell all you if a woman says she's pregnant by you don't go and say boy let me go and no take your dear how much for dna test not 800 dollars or something whatever it is brothers and sisters go and secure yourself so that the right child can be with the right father or the right well they know the mother is already they know she's definitely mother right there so what do you think guys i'm comparing the mother with the, the 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 this is the mother of the madman or the zombie man aka and um their nose are similar you can see that the smile is similar they also have the cheeks region right there you can see the crevices right there and the thing the forehead is you know 
So, it's interesting, but don't you think it's interesting? I think it's very interesting. The kind of twist that is going on, going on right there. The lips are a bit different. Well, they have the same bottom lip. Oh, wait a minute, brothers and sisters. Seems like the lip is also cut like hers as well. The lip is also cut like hers as well. They don't have much upper lip. That's interesting. Right there. He has more fuller lips than on top. But the mother. Interesting stuff. Brothers and sisters. But anyways, let us go to the grandmother right there. The grandmother of this lady. The mother of Kanisha. The grandmother of this girl right there. So Curtis was having a talk with her. This is what she had to say right there. Today is the fourth day, Saturday. We don't have the big crowd we've had for the last three days. But what we saw here today is a sort of determination. The police officers, the people who have come on scene, everybody is determined that they can bring Kanisha home. This is what, and I tell you guys, based off the motive that I'm seeing here, the, she is definitely alive. Maybe the parents... Maybe the parent of this guy, say, um, this guy, the parent of this guy, this guy right there, told him, no, that's your, that's your youth. That's your youth, man. You need to take your youth and go. And then the possibility of this woman, who also apparently disappeared the same way, maybe she's still alive today. And we don't know, brothers and sisters. We don't know. That is a very interesting thing. He maybe was in New York or somewhere and she maybe went to meet him and that's where she ended up disappearing. Maybe she's in the USVI and as a result of the trouble that he got or whatever, they, they sent him back to Dominica and she's probably still over there and she probably told him, you know what, I need my youth. Take my youth and go. And the adopted vibe, the adopted people, you know, the elderly and whatnot. I let's listen to the grandmother man. let's listen to the grandmother but what we saw here today officers the people who have come on scene everybody this is interest this is very interesting brothers and sisters very interesting right there but it is determined that they can bring kanisha home the search parties are out and we are here at the command center in the heights of warner the warner community with me is a very interesting person <laughs> the grandmother of Kanisha Etienne and she is Rosemary Williams Rosemary you, you don't see them people filming who, who for that boss now you don't see those people filming well then again you probably decide to go in front of the but <laughs> guys you see me as, a, as somebody who's on videography and, and, and this kind of things there I would be pissed man like you don't see us filming Come on, the man. But then again, the interview is going to be so long. Maybe he needed to do this. Mary Williams, the grandmother of Kanisha Etienne. We are happy she has decided to speak with us here. We are extremely happy she has decided to tell her story. Rosemary Williams, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, sir. As we said before, it's a pleasure that we have you around. Talk to us about the search for young Kanisha. Well, I'm talking to all you about the search of my granddaughter. Um, but I you can tell she will old school by repeating what she heard. I think that's one of the things I used to tell people back in the day. When somebody asks you a question, you repeat the question in a statement format to then say that you're answering this particular question. That's what they used to do back in the day. I think that is not a thing that are normal, and we really want to get to the the boot, the process of it so that they could get my granddaughter you understand and it's the only thing that i want to hear right now i don't want to hear anything else and i will still like to say them people like to go sleep and see what they want keep it to their home to watch at the front of the door <laughs> keep it to their home to watch at the front of the door that's something else eh? instead they try to watch at Somebody somebody else's home no. you understand <laughs> tired gossip when all you don't do anything you understand yeah. what are happening right so um but i asked in the father and i prayed for the father even my knee i'm going down who is the father uh, um 
that is the quarter up there he, oh, okay okay that's what she was saying okay he's the only one you understand and he's the only one that could take out my my little grandchild yeah she is there he had a hostage you know for the time for them to sacrifice her i don't think they're gonna be sacrificing her though i i i honestly think the mother the kenisha's mother is alive and she probably wants a youth and because the individual has adopted her you know they have custody of her and that would be a problem i don't know maybe she realized that his thing and told the guy you know what because he has a phone he does play mad like he mad like whatever but he has a phone and he also has military training so she probably called him and said yo you need to see if you can organize to bring my 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 my, my little youth for me maybe i don't know but it seems like that is the present motive that i'm thinking there i don't think that he's gonna be doing anything as a result of what i just showed that they pretty much look alike the guy looks like the girl the guy who took her looks like the girl and god is good she's blessed and she have a gift she's a gifted child and she covered with the blood of jesus and we must find her you understand whether they're among the pastors that pray trust me she will cover there <laughs> so the order and them police have to do their work because they're doing their work plenty yeah, but they have to get down into the real major part of it because the fella is not in the bush it don't make no sense you go and you dig in bush you don't get fella that's my point they're not they're not searching any houses they're searching in the bush and we honestly believe especially if you guys saw the vlog of i dropped the vlog today guys i'll post that in the first comment in the comment box below but it seems like from the thought process, good people going all over the place, it seems like the people of Bells are part of, or, or maybe know that the guy who took the, the, the little youth may, may be related to her. And so as a result of that, they're not making any noise or whatever. Maybe the mother back in the day was telling them who the real father is. And as a result, they're staying quiet because people are trying to figure out how come the Bells people not as, are, are helping, you know, because the people are talking and they say they don't know what, where, where they're going. People come from all over just going in bush as if it's bushman. I don't understand. So, anyways, let's continue. Everybody at planning it, they set up, they, they set up the whole things. So right now we just have to get at the right place that she are. You are. I honestly think she's in a house somewhere and she's been taken care of. And maybe they're telling the little one that this is your rightful father, not the people you adopted. But anyways, well, obviously she she would know that that's not the people you know that that adopted her that that they are her real parents she would know this unless she doesn't know she's adopted i mean she's 12 years old i think she would probably need to know that information what are your thoughts guys but then again this is a madman though her madman i don't think you want to put any reason because did man do madness in rosu and i'm <laughs> that is another interesting one i'm thinking myself because i think he plays a character he plays a character of a madman he has military training, he's idle in Dominica. Hey, what for me to do? Let me go every time I see people. Let me act like I'm mad and those kind of things there. I don't know if he's getting paid for it. Or I, I really doubt he gets paid for it, but that's kind of silly right there. So maybe he does put on a character, but he's not mad. So if he's not mad and knows what he's doing, he's fully sane and aware of what is going on. This is probably one of the reasons why they're telling individuals not to film and those kind of things there anymore. Or not to go when you feel man this kind of things there so it's interesting anyways let's continue you are the, you, you are the grandmother of young kanisha the yes. trip and another individual told me when i was in um, um bells yesterday or the day before which whichever one they told me that this guy is not a madman at all because he, he seems like he knows what he's doing which madman you know that escaping with people and and, and they do find them which madman you know <laughs> it cannot be a madman he have to know what he doing anyways let's continue major part of it because the fella is not in the bush it don't make no sense you want you dig in bush you don't get fella everybody are planning it they set up they, they set up the whole things so right now we just have to get at the right place that she are you are the you you are the grandmother of young kanisha the 12 year old kanisha yes. who is the mother of kanisha well her mother is stacy alexis the same girl i just showed a while ago and she been long time ago they disappear too because they, she disappeared 2012 of eight eight years right now so they don't disappear in that one they are going like that so her mother her mother you said disappeared eight years ago Ten and years. who has she been living with since oh, kanisha yes well kanisha was living home at our home with my sister where's that my ass stop farm bolivar 
you understand but because my sister couldn't be able she um she not in good health you understand and she couldn't okay. take care of the child because even the child's body was poor in a certain time so miss car now coming in now well she make child with my brother and she had to take in the child once she see the child because me is not dominica that i stay in but now that i come down I had willing now for her to tell me, well, I could take the child, but I don't want to be ungrateful because I know if she take the child from day one, be on my back without her even knowing what look. So maybe, maybe the adoptive parents, that's who they're talking about there. And I check in, well, okay, she ready to tell me we are family. So if she make child with my brother, that means she presenting herself, she's family already not together or anything. But at least she checked the child to raise up the child in the condition the child was. So I thank seeing her for that, you understand? Or taking out the child, yeah, she was. But after then now she live up countryside but many times i get to go there i cannot go there it's like i do something was keeping me but anyway now the curse is break the curse it break so i end up going there yesterday to see her she had the child in the isolated place you went to yes, the I home in Warner yesterday for the first time you said time. Hmm. and when i when i went here it's like it's a isolated place you can you as a age of a woman and a age of a man yeah i think i think the, the daughter should have go with her instead because them places are and dark guys darkness you know what darkness up there boy you might have a little part that have lights so i'm i'm spinning lights but then majority of water just in darkness I don't understand. Ay, ay, ay. You couldn't have a little child living together with you in that kind of a position. Yeah, you was living there in a home and to come in in the place, no light, and you have to walk a good distance. Yeah, the areas outside, most likely that's why nobody knew about, you know, until, you know, the man had to climb up the hill. He had to climb up a hill for him to, to get help. He didn't go by his neighbors because he didn't have neighbors. He had to climb up a hill for him to get help. So that kind of give me the understanding as to where exactly they were in an isolated area and of course in the isolated area most likely didn't didn't have any street lights <laughs> that is something else we so that's make well that's why i find in to myself i wouldn't talk much you understand but that's why because she don't want to be ungrateful for the for for the guy for the for the people that took care of, of the one i understand that when into myself i find something is very fishy and we have to get to the boot of that you understand what i'm trying to tell you because more they coming up and i asked her because i tell her i want my grandchild to spend some time with me so my time so i don't even get my grandchild to spend some time with me because i don't know what is happening something go really fishy and i cannot understand nothing what could he do now and i cannot understand nothing <laughs> nothing wrong about that <laughs> Because this forget, forget your cameraman. As I saw, I asked you, I want to spend all of the day with my child, with my little grandchild. I tell you, I want my little grandchild to spend all of the day with me, so that come to happen, so I can't understand nothing. I find in... You sure the curse break now? <laughs> well, let me leave that alone. <laughs> something wrong some here, yeah. so we need to get to the boot of that. And that is it, and I need to see my grandchild. Yeah. I need to see her, and that is the only one my head on right now. After, after then when I get my grandchild, the rest will continue. And what I have to continue will continue. I don't care, let me tell you that, sorry about your... This is why we believe that the guy is being helped by other people. We believe that. But I don't care. And then maybe the struggle in Dominica is so great, the adopted people might not want to give her up. There's something happening, but and something, man. Something happening, man. What the hell Dominica say? Who want to talk, talk? Who want to say what they have to say? I don't even worry. I don't care. Because my head has already done this already. <laughs> oh, so, man. I, her head bongs. <laughs> so I don't care about what they say. Anyway, I turn seen for all them people are coming out from all over. Huh? You're welcome. And thanks God for them fellas because they is really good from all country they coming out and they, Man, they, they are for the child you understand that is to see that is a blessed child and a gift child and she provide the blood of Jesus and of we course. have together yeah that's why I don't think that anything uh, has happened to that little one at all at all do, the assailant the man who is believed to have gone away with Kanisha do you know him me I don't know mister 
I see me stand picture. Although when I ask God to reveal me, he just show me him. So it's him I have to see. You have any idea where he is now? Me have any idea. You know if I had any idea, I wouldn't go and find him. <laughs> I don't know what kind of question is that? Because <laughs> it don't put me out in the way. Do you have any idea where he is right now? Yes. Yes, I do. I would say it. <laughs> Guys, look my camera just sitting on me there. But I would say yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Kanisha, do you know where Kanisha no, is? No, I don't know. Oh, she can't know where Kanisha is now. They're looking for her. But then again, if he's a family thing and the family, maybe the brother of the madman, you know, has some sort of, you know, knowledge as to the whereabouts you as the family where. So I guess it kind of makes sense. But I mean, based on all what she tell you, I, I don't think she would know unless she know and she pretending like she don't know. And if she know and she come on camera pretending like she don't know and you ask her, do you know where she is? I don't think she would say she knows. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Because I mean, it's it's very very obvious that she's been saying that she trying she uh, she has been trying to get a little girl to come and live with her. I don't know, but I know where she is. She in her place. Well, that is another thing right there. Anyways, moving along. I said, K Kanisha, if she were to appear here today, what would be your your reaction? Hmm, your life is so happy. I'll be enjoyment. I take out from that kind of a thing that she was in. So my time, so my time, make. Because that is a child has suffered a lot and she she suffered and God knew what they was doing her huh? and I was believe it was good but she suffered. Yeah, so I I, I will be glad and rejoice and the blood of Jesus with I know and she will be a good good child in my hand raising up. You see? She wants to raise the little youth. And for instead of nobody else. You see? And plus the other folks are elderly and it's very clear that the individuals who had her are not putting on the past or whatnot. But it's very clear that based on the circumstances that, that, that allowed to her being abducted, the pastor is not able or, or, she, or was not able to protect her. You know? So, anyways, there was a particular part of this thing that people were freaking out on and sending me. So I had to show this right there. Take a listen. Rosemary, it's a pleasure speaking to you. I think for the first time in about 30 years, yeah. we would have met about 30 years ago. Mm. I've not seen you since, so it's mm. a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. 30 years later. Yeah, well, that's good. Would you like to say anything about that? No, I don't like to say nothing about it. Why is your problem? Not yourself, you, you, you're going no call. <laughs> <laughs> like to say anything about that? No, I don't like to say nothing about it. Why is your problem? Not yourself, you, you, you're going no call. <laughs> I sounds like they had a little something, you know, back in the day. And you try to just you just try to mash up the seat, man. <laughs> Do you like to say anything about that? No, I don't like to say nothing about it. Why is your problem? Not yourself, you 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 go no from that from Buffet State. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Rosemary Rosemary Williams. I don't like to say nothing about that. We just you know, yeah. even though we know we know long, we just, yeah. that's not a problem. Everybody doesn't know. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. We just leave that alone. You too trouble yeah. some anyway, bye bye, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary Williams. <laughs> hey, but yeah, man. Um, guys, I honestly believe that the girl is definitely alive. I think that she, um, under under the circumstances, there's as time goes by, you just find out some strange vibes that is taking place. Maybe the elderly folks that was taking care of our adopted parents were not doing the best, or, or were doing the best that they could. Uh, but and maybe the the mother is alive. She probably is not in Dominica anymore. She, she's probably overseas in the Caribbean island and I'm just saying my own speculation. This is a reaction right there, brothers and sisters. The mama check it. I want my youth back, man. Contacted the guy. I don't know if he have floor, did cell, whatever it is. Or he have WhatsApp and going right and buy did cell and get free Wi-Fi or whatever it is, brothers and sisters. And the man contact him and say, hey, bring my youth for me, please. And you buy a military training. The man probably pass anything. He don't tell the girl, you know, you know, I'm going to bring you for your mama. I'm your rifle pops, whatever it is. Like I say, he's playing a character, brothers and sisters, and it's just a kind of a thing going on, man. But anyways, I think that they should pull out the citizens from doing this thing and let everybody else, let the police and whatever you can um, con continue. But it'll be interesting if they're trying to get her outside of the island. Um, but then again, I'm thinking based off when she was taken to the time that the, they started doing um, the search itself she was about nine hours. So... But then if you take a boat, you have to probably know where you're going through. 
maybe she has contacts i mean he was in the military you know maybe he himself have contacts who guys i don't know man but i know for sure that he's been helped that is a that i wouldn't say a fact but but based on my understanding of putting things together brothers and sisters i know that he's definitely getting help right there and there seems to be a motive as a result of this thing but i'm going too long on this guys give let me know your thoughts in this regard leave your thoughts in the comment box below definitely check out the vlog as well showing us going up all, all over the place and inside and what have you and definitely give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate that download the app mr Lick's tube app guys and of course i'll see you guys in the next reaction video all remember guys all the links will be in the first comment in the comment box below or, the, or in the description as well i'll see you guys in the next reaction video boom bang